Hello, Mass 6 students. Any parents watching, and any pre algebra students who may be watching as well, wanted to show you a question that you may see or something along this format on your midpoint quiz for Unit 2. It's a little different than what we're used to, so let's take a look at it and see if we can't pull it apart and get an answer for ourselves. So I'm going to grab my highlighter here. It says, circle all of the answer choices below that show 6... Now, many of us say 6.092. I'm going to try to break us of that habit. I see that the 2, let's see here. I'll look at that 2. It's in the, let's see, tens, hundreds, thousands. So it's 6 and 92 thousands place value. Okay, so circle all the answer choices below that show 6 and 92 thousands. 6 and 92 thousands. So key word here is all. Hmm. To me, that tells me there's probably more than one answer. Uh, and I have to find the ones that are that show or equal six and ninety-two thousandths. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at each problem, each answer choice has its own problem. So we just said this says six and ninety-two thousandths. So answer choice says six and ninety-two thousandths. Oh, okay. I agree with that. The two is in the thousands place. It's a ninety-two there. There's a numbers to the right of the decimal point. We have a six and ones place. Okay, so that works. Next one says 6 plus 0 0.92 or 6 plus 92 hundredths. Now, I'm going to just add it down here. Let's see, 6. I like to add decimals vertically, not horizontally. So now here becomes a trick. This is 6 ones. I don't have anything in the tenths place or the hundredths place. And I see that this goes to the hundredths. So I'll just put two zeros at the end. And then I'm going to line up my decimals. Remember when I add or subtract decimals, I line them up. Okay, let's take a look. 9 plus 2, or I'm sorry, 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 0 is 9. 6 plus 0 is 0. Now that says 6 and 92 hundredths. That doesn't look like 6 and 92 thousandths. This number is actually larger than this. So they are not the same. So I would not circle this one. Okay, next one. Uh, 4 and 25 thousandths plus 2 and 67 thousandths. Well, let's go down here. Take a look. I'll write these numbers out. Again, I want to line up those decimal points. Two in a ones place, a four in a one place, those line up. Zero in a tenths place, zero in a tenths place. Six in the hundreds place. Okay, that lines up with the two. Seven in the thousands place, that lines up with the five in the thousands place. All right, so let's add this. Five plus seven is 12. Six plus two is eight, plus one is nine. Zero and zero is zero. Four plus two is six. Well, to me, it looks like exactly like 6 and 92 thousandths. What I am going to do, just to double check my work, I'm going to grab my calculator. I like to do it with my head first, and then use my calculator as backup. So 4 and 25 thousandths plus 2 and 67 thousandths. Oh, that checks out. Good. My math is right. Circle that. That's also the right answer. Okay. This one looks confusing. It says 6 plus... 9 times 100th plus 2 times 1,000th. Hmm. Now, going back to my powers of 10, I know that I'm going to erase this stuff down here. I know that 100th is the same as, I see that there's a 1 followed by two zeros. So that's the same as 10 to the negative second. I see that 2 times 1,000th, I see three zeros. So that's a 10 to the negative third. So what is 9 times 10 to the negative second power? Well, I see the exponent is negative. That means whatever I'm multiplying over here is actually getting smaller, not larger. Now it's not a negative number. It's not going to become negative 9. It just says, hey, move the decimal two places to the left. So that's 1, 2. So that gives me, if I move over 1, it's in front of the 9. Move over 1 more, there's a 0 there. So that gives me... Nine hundredths. Now I have to add that plus six as well. The ten to the negative third. Hmm. It says two times ten to the negative third. So taking a look at that. Hmm. If I were to take the two, I times it by ten to the negative third. I look at the exponent. It is a negative. Doesn't mean my answer is being negative. It just says, hey, you're getting smaller. You're essentially divide. You're essentially getting smaller here. You are breaking up these one hole into smaller tenths. 
Uh, so I know the decimal points here in two. It says it's getting smaller three places to the left. So I move over one, two. There's no number there, so I put a zero. Three, no number there, so I put a zero. Decimal point. So that becomes plus that. Now, again, I can add this up. Uh, I see. I see. I have three numbers to the right of decimal point. So in my six, I'll put a decimal point and add three zeros. Now I'll line up my nine hundredths decimal point zero nine, and now I will line up my two thousandths. Line up my decimal point two there. I could put a zero here to fill the place value. That's two. That is nine. That is zero. That's six. Mm, looks a lot like that. So that also works. Uh, and finally, let's take a look at my last one. It says. 6 and 92 thousandths times 10 to the third. There's that power of 10 again. 6 and 92 hundredths. I like to put the zero in front there. Times 10 to the third power. Zero to hold the place value in the ones. Now, again, I'll circle the exponent. Now it's a 3. Not a negative 3 like the previous ones. It's not a fraction. It's 3 here, so it's not a negative exponent. It's a, it's a positive. So I'm getting larger, not smaller. So it says move it three places to the right. Well, I want to get bigger. If this is 692 thousandths, if I move it one left, it's 692 ten thousandths. I've just become smaller, so I move it to the right three because now that becomes $6.92, $69.20, $600.20, $700.20, $1,000. dollars my fault. Now, is that the same as 6 and 92 thousandths? No. So that would those three would be the correct answer. These two I do nothing with because I just want to circle all the answers that below that show this. All right, use this wisely. Take care. Bye.